Today's video is a maintenance one and I'm going to show you how I changed my Segway Mini Pro tire. There are lots of videos covering this but I want to try a unique approach to this to see if it would be any easier. To see how I do this, stay tuned. My thinking here is that the tire I'm removing is unusable, so sawing it off won't hurt as long as I don't damage the rim. How long you take to saw through the tire is another story. I'm using a mini handsaw, typically used to cut lumber, so cutting through rubber will require some effort. The idea here is to get you thinking of other saws you may have that could possibly work better. In my opinion, a rotary cutter like a Dremel with rotary cutting bits might work best because it won't have the issue of the rubber gripping the blade while you cut. But I don't have one of those. A reciprocating saw might be my second choice and I do have one of those, but for sake of experimenting, I'm going to use the hand saw. Anyway, let's get started. The reason I'm changing tires is because after two and a half years and 2400 miles, the tires on my Mini Pro are starting to show their age. I'm not sure what caused the tire to bulge the way it did. It still held air just fine, but I felt it would be a good time to replace the tires before they gave out completely. I started cutting with the handsaw. I changed tools a couple of times, but it seemed like the handsaw progressed the fastest, so I used that for most of the cutting. I didn't think it took me that long to cut through the tire, and it also didn't require as much effort as I thought it would, although it was harder than sawing wood. In case you are wondering, there are two reasons I didn't use tire irons. One, I don't have any. The second is that I didn't want to accidentally damage the rims. The Segway Mini Pro tires are tubeless, so they rely on the rim being perfectly smooth where the bead meets the rim. One scratch or a bent rim could allow air to leak out through the damaged area. If that ever happened and considering the rim is motorized, at that point you'd be better off buying a new Mini Pro than a new rim. Okay. Now that I've cut through the tire, I just need to unseat the bead from the rim. Unseating the bead just requires a little push on the sidewall to unstick it from the rim. And you do that on both sides of each tire. Off camera, I tested pulling one of the tire halves off with the plier and it works well. I'll show you what I did on the other side. All you need to do is get a good grip on any part of the tire, anchor your feet against the rim, and pull. The innermost half comes off a lot easier. Now we're ready to mount the new tires. I'm hoping mounting the tires is a lot easier than removing, so I'm going to start out without any tools. I've seen other videos where they use the tire irons even to put the tire onto the rim. Let's see if I can find a better way. Okay, I did an initial test and I was actually able to put the tire on by hand. It was kind of tricky and I needed to use these spring clamps to squeeze the tire as I pushed it on. I also sprayed the edge of the rim and tire with a small amount of WD-40. The last step is to fill the tire with air. You may think this is the easy part, but I've seen videos of people struggling with this step. I guess because the tire is loose on the rim, it's tough to get the air to stay in the tire as you pump it up. I've already attempted to use my battery operated pump, but that didn't work at all. I'm going to take my Mini Pro to the local gas station to pump it up and see how it turns out. I didn't get video of me filling the tires, but the gas station compressor worked. It still took some effort because of the air leaking out. 
When you first put the tire on the rim, the bead will line up almost all the way around except for one spot. It's this one spot where the air leaks out the most. To help limit this, push down on the tread of the tire to force the bead out to the rim while you attempt to inflate it. Limiting the opening in that one spot between the tire and the rim was enough to get things started, after which the air in the tire kept the bead against the rim for the rest of the process. One other tip I can give that I think helped a lot was the use of WD-40. I was hesitant at first because you'd think it would allow the bead to slip out of the rim when the tire is fully inflated. That was not the case. The tubeless tire is designed to fit the rim so well that when it's filled with air, there's no way it could just slip off the rim. My recommendation is to use WD-40. Not a lot, but spray it on and wipe up anything that could start dripping. Use just enough to cover the surface but not soak it. I hope this video can help those of you out there, not just with Mini Pros, but anyone trying to change any kind of tubeless tire. I think the way I did it was a different and maybe easier way to get the job done, especially if you don't have tire irons. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.